Boys and girls, welcome. This is Scyther 407 7th, and we are back with another episode of Conan. This is part six. It's time to start kicking ass, and well, don't worry about taking names because a lot of these enemies look alike, so uh, no point in doing that. Just go ahead and kill, kill, kill. All right, so let's rescue another damsel if you can actually grab her, grab the chain. And, of course, don't forget to save down there. I'm sure you guys have seen that save point. But, hey, you never know. It could slip your mind here and there, right? Let's hope not. But, hey, you know, anything can happen, right? I haven't forgot that yet. But you never know. This is the first time for everything. What we're going to do first, instead of actually, because there's a switch to hit, and it's going to raise a platform near the first building we were just at, what we're going to do is we're going to clear out the area, and then we're going to go ahead and hit that switch. It seems like the thing to do. Plus, aw, oh man, see, I just went to use my stone prisoner magic thingy, and I was too far away. Although, I will and must admit, I, I must admit that that archer keeps coming close, but he's not hitting me. So that's good. That's pretty good. It's luck of the draw. Eh. But, anyways, yeah, I in my prior playthrough, I went ahead and cleared out the area first. And it seemed to work out well, so I went ahead and I'm just going to do that here as well. So, go ahead and take care of him. There you go. Here's some fire. You want it, don't you? Yeah, you're dead. All right. And we're going to need some more fire because it's a hut and we need to light it. And, we okay, I don't know what I did there. I was nowhere near the hut. Maybe I tried to, uh, maybe I thought I could light this guy on fire just by... Going here, stand still for a second while I immolate you. Yeah, he didn't. He wasn't having that. Here you go. Oh, he, ooh, he didn't like that. Oh well, that's what you get. All right. So I thought I was gonna grab a torch, but I wasn't because I went ahead and stole his weapon. It made things a little bit easier for me. Go ahead and grab some health. There's another hut here that we can burn down and if I could just stop picking up weapons for a second because they're all strewn about the fire so as you can see oh there's something glowing in there yeah you know what that is that's a chest not the good kind though don't worry though we'll rescue another damsel here in a little bit but yeah okay so we'll go ahead and grab that if it would just oh my god look how long it's taken and my character's freaking out over there waiting for that thing to burn down all right, moving on. What we're going to do is we're going to knock this down so we can get ourselves a boulder. And we're going to go ahead and break down this barrier. And that's to the third building that we're going to have to go to. Okay. But there's no enemies to clear out right in there right now. So we're going to go to the first switch finally. Yep, the yellow switch. The one that's raised a bit. And what that's going to do is going to raise a platform... And that platform has these, looks like wind chimes, but they're stationary. Actually, they kind of look like giant flutes, but they're, it's like a wind mechanism. And we need to align it up. Okay, not that difficult. When I say align, I mean you pull a couple chains and it's aligned, okay? Not really much of a puzzle. Oh, look at this guy. I just went ahead and let them burn and, and die. So they're dead. Okay, so let's climb up here. As you know, this is the first building we were at. Like I mentioned before, there's some health here if you need it. I didn't need it, so I said bye-bye. Jump down. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're going to go to the next switch, which is the blue switch. And we were just by that building. But now there's no enemies over there, so we don't have to worry about it. At least I don't think there's any enemies. I could be wrong. There might be some the over there. Tower is ready now. Yes, it is. No, there wasn't any enemies. Because I would have showed some fightings. All right. Went ahead and take care. took care of those chains. Doesn't matter which one you grab first. That's both the same thing. Got some more enemies. Might as well grab some flames. Oh, these guys. Okay, the flames aren't going to help you any. So you might as well go ahead and steal yourself some sword. Some swords. And like I mentioned before, it's nice. You can do that as many times as you want. It doesn't matter if you have dual weapons right now or not. You can keep on stealing them. And just it, it actually makes the work easier for you because then they don't have a weapon. All they have is a shield. you know. And then you can just bust that shield down and then bust the chaps. 
Oh, he tried me. Oh, and he was slick. Never mind. Yeah, he got me. But that's okay, because I'll get these guys. I'll break their shields eventually. This guy doesn't even have a weapon. Oh, I almost took him out with the mercenary. Oh, look at that. I actually got a finisher move. And those are just harder and harder to get nowadays. <clears throat> I don't know why. Well, it's just, the enemies are tougher and it's just hard. It's harder to time that parry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed him. And he, look at that. He died. And then he dodges again. I'm like, you son of a. Bird. But you're dead. And I got health, so that's cool. So on to the last switch. Ooh, another. I got another finisher? All right. Oh. Oh, you stupid piece of shit. You die. Oh, my God. Come on now. Oh, look at that. Mm, mercenary. And then I believe I master it here, too. I know I said that before. But this is actually where I do, I think. Oh. I blocked and he blocked. No, this isn't where. No, but I get another finisher move. All right. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Eventually I'll have that mastered. All right. So the last one. Go ahead and set that. We jump down, and there's going to be a few more enemies, so make sure you fill up on health. They're not too bad, but you know what? They get around me, and they uh, they hit me in the back and the front and the side. So, yeah, and they're pissing me off. But we can handle them. <clears throat> yeah, so I should have probably... I don't know. Well, see, I didn't have any stone prisoner energy. See, look at that. I'm getting hit from all sides. What the hell? Okay, you're getting a death stomp. And then these other two, this is where I master the mercenary. As long as I, you know, as soon as I get done getting my, uh, falling on my head. There's one that's 95%, and then here is 100%. Awesome. Okay, he's dead. Time to climb up. And this is where you'll see where you can use a stone prisoner on multiple enemies. Hey, if they're standing close enough, you can hit like four or five, six, you know, who knows how many. But that's what I do right here. But we are coming to the end of this video. We will be back in Conan, part seven. And we're going to continue on to rescue the, our damsel in distress. And other ones that are just happen to be chained around. So until then, this is Site the 4077. Saying take care and cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.